In this podcast, George Mack and the host discuss the concept of the Cayenne Beauty Contest, which involves different levels of human interaction with things. They explain that the contest involves ranking people based on attractiveness, predicting what others will think, and factoring in the knowledge that others are also playing the game. They discuss how people's perceptions shape reality and how this impacts behavior in various situations. The conversation delves into the idea of reflexivity, where people's perceptions shape reality and reality shapes perceptions. They discuss how this concept applies to various aspects of life, such as voting behavior, social interactions, and decision-making processes. They also explore the impact of social media and the internet on the spread of ideas and memes, highlighting the role of emotion and simplicity in creating contagious concepts. The discussion then shifts to the concept of leverage and its importance in achieving greater outputs with minimal inputs. They emphasize the need to remove the conversation around hours worked and focus on inputs and outputs. They use the example of Jeff Bezos and the world's hardest working man to illustrate the concept of leverage and its impact on productivity. The conversation also touches on the role of mainstream media in creating memes and the shift towards decentralized creation and dissemination of memes through social media and online platforms. They discuss the significance of cultural movements and memes in predicting future trends and societal shifts. The podcast continues with a discussion on the importance of creating memes for important topics that have not yet gained widespread attention. They highlight the need for aspirational archetypes for women and the potential impact of individual personalities on the creation and spread of memes. They explore the idea of individuals as memes and the potential for a chief meme officer in fast-growing companies. They also discuss the importance of creating compelling and emotionally impactful memes to drive engagement and influence. The conversation then shifts to the topic of cybercrime, with a focus on the Bangladeshi bank heist as a prime example of the potential impact of cyber attacks on developing countries. Mac highlights the significance of cybersecurity and the potential for a major cyber event to have a profound impact on global systems. He emphasizes the need for stronger memes and awareness around the importance of cybersecurity. The conversation delves into the value of mainstream media as a scarce resource and the influence it still holds in society. Mac discusses the status and prestige associated with mainstream media, as well as the impact of traditional media on cultural movements. They also explore the concept of conceptual inertia and the time it takes for ideas to change within society. The conversation continues with a discussion on the concept of Trojan content, emphasizing the importance of being mindful of the content consumed and its potential impact on one's well-being. They share personal experiences and examples of Trojan content, highlighting the need to carefully curate one's information diet and be aware of the potential influence of algorithmic warfare on content consumption. Mac reflects on the concept of the forgetting paradox, highlighting the idea that people often forget how many thoughts they have forgotten. He encourages listeners to reflect on the number of clear thoughts they can remember from a 24-hour window emphasizing the importance of capturing content through spoken or written words. He also discusses the significance of transforming thoughts into words, as it can lead to creativity and clarity. The conversation delves into the concept of beliefs that may not be true but are useful. Mack introduces the idea of figuratively true but literally false beliefs, citing examples such as the belief in determinism. He also discusses the importance of analyzing evidence for and against certain beliefs, emphasizing the need to consider beliefs that are functionally useful to individuals and society. The concept of high agency is explored, with Mac sharing examples of individuals who have demonstrated high agency in their lives. He discusses the story of James Cameron, who taught himself filmmaking by accessing materials from a library, showcasing his resourcefulness and determination. Another example is the tax inspector who played a crucial role in taking down the Silk Road, demonstrating how an individual with limited resources can outperform larger organizations through high agency. Mack introduces the thought experiment of identifying the most useful emotional state in various life events. He suggests that calmness 
may be the most useful emotional state as it allows individuals to achieve desired outcomes and navigate different situations effectively. The conversation explores the benefits of calmness in different scenarios, highlighting its potential to enhance decision-making and overall well-being.